Hey everyone, Ash here, and it's time to hopefully finish off the head. Time to finish off the game corner. I think once I'm done with the uh, this part of the deal, though, I might come back and play the slot machines a little bit, just to uh, show that off. Anyways, anyways, I need to. Okay, let's see, where do I need to go from here? There we go. And now, we have access to the elevator. Well, of course, we had access to the elevator before, but... Uh, we had access to the elevator before... Oops, I don't think that's where I meant to, meant to go. Yeah, we had access to the elevate ele bleh. We've had access to the Oh my, I don't know why I keep going in and out. There should yes, there's an item right here. Let's grab this. That's one of the uh that's one of the uh boosting items. Or stat boosting items. I hope this is the right, uh, right rocket. One of these guys is like, yep, it's this guy. This guy has two ground, two ground types and a poison type. And that takes out the first ground type. So let's see what he let's see what he throws at me next next. So it's either gonna be an Ekans or a Sand Slash. He's gonna throw out his uh, Sand Slash. I did not mean to hit him with acid. Thankfully, uh, thankfully Sand Slash didn't hit me with a uh, attack. Just a little bit more. Alright, that takes care of the uh, that takes care of the other ground type. So that should leave an Ekans. The poison type and poison type being a uh, weak against ground, and I have my ground type here. Yeah, that lowers my uh, lowers my attack, but that still shouldn't that still shouldn't present too much of a problem. All right, that takes care of Ekans, and that means uh, that takes care of this uh, rocket. Right, this the rocket over to the uh, the rocket over to the right is gonna have two poison and a ground type. And of course this Ekans has intimidate. I think Ekans can have Intimidate or Shed Skin, but uh, uh, this one has Intimidate. I'm gonna hit him with Dig and hopefully finish it off. And a critical hit too. Awesome. Okay, that go that takes care of his uh, first Pokemon. He's gonna use a Sensure, so I will throw out my Grass type again. And I will use vinyl. Hopefully, uh, I 
Arbok. Back to the back to the ground type. This of course being a Ekans evolved form. And of course it has intimidate. But like with the Ekans, I'll just I'll just uh, dig it. Critical hit. Awesome. That takes care of a uh, that takes care of uh, this guy. I need to make sure I have my grist type in the front. It says I'll feel a world of pain for interfering with his plans. Of course, we know how we know how this is going to go, especially when he throws out an onyx. I mean, uh, I mean, hello. I took care of an Onyx when I was battling the gym late, the very first gym leader. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Reinhorn. So no, I will not switch due to the fact that Reinhorn, much like Onyx, is ground, ground and rocks. And that just leaves Kangaskhan. Now, Kangaskhan is level 29. However, I'm going to... Never mind. I was going to try to poison it, but yeah, as you can tell, that didn't happen. I'll send out my fighting type since Kangaskhan is, in fact, a uh, normal type. But, of course... Whoa, that that's actually a bit surprising. I thought it was gonna have I thought it was gonna knock me out, but it didn't. Now if he has a uh, if he has a potion here, I'm in big trouble. I should probably try sending out my I should have probably tried sending out my uh, Charmeleon, but I'm going to try to try to send him out last as a uh, last resort. I think Dugtrio here. I think Dugtrio here might be able to finish it off. Yes, Doug Trio is definitely going to be able to finish this off. And that that takes care of that. This cannot be there must be other factors. No, I won't. I won't quote that. And I got a and I got a bucket load of money as well. Which of course we will, but that won't be till later. And we got the uh, and we got the slith scope as well, which means a uh, we'll be able to head back to Lavender Town and see the ghost inside the inside the uh, tower. Now, I don't remember if I battled, battled this guy, so... Oh! Yeah, someone actually, uh, someone actually mentioned the, mentioned that in one of the comments. I didn't think you could dig outside, outside of the buildings. Or, I don't think you could dig inside buildings, but apparently you can.
Now, now of course, the next thing I think I need to be doing is seeing where the gym is. Ah, oh, it's down there. Question is, how do I get to it? Let me guess. Oh, of course, I need to. I need cut. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I need to deposit my own grass type. I need to deposit the water type and the electric type. Mainly because I have. I'm going to have to level up my. I'm going to have to level up my two fire types. I can already tell. Actually, I'm going to have to level up those, those two fire types. But, but I, uh, hopefully that won't take long. But I never know. Though of course, if uh, worse comes to worse, I can always, more than likely, count on Charmeleon to, to uh, get me out of this. What a perv! And of course, you look at the uh, you look at the deal here. You find that Gary or whatever you named your rival has already, of course, beaten you. Yeah, Roar has got to go. I think what I'm going to do here is save, and I might level up this. I might level up this uh, Growlithe and Vulpix off screen. So I can be a little bit more high level than deal with these trainers. But yeah, like I said, I want to do that off screen so I don't waste waste your time uh, your time and such. So when we come back, we'll take on the Celadon Gym. Later. <laughs>